welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am grace i'm a novelist and fiction writing teacher i share writing tips and strategies on this channel and it is a bright inspiration to inspire you to write so today i'm going to be talking about gift ideas for writers because you know christmas is by the corner and this video is long overdue but i'm gonna do it anyway so let's get started so the best gift idea on my list books writing craft books memoirs different types there's so many books i can recommend for you right now i won't be able to give you all those books so i'm going to leave the link down in the description below but i'm going to just list a few that i think are very good so if you guys want to tell me in the comment section i'm going to do a video recommending all the writing craft books i recommend for you guys to buy but just for this christmas i'm going to share with you a few of them the first book is on writing a memoir of the craft by best-selling author stephen king I recommend this book because it's actually a very good book. It's part memoir, part uh, masterclass by best-selling author Stephen King. It gives you a practical view of the writing craft, so I definitely recommend it. The next book on the list is Save the Cat by Jessica Brody. Unfortunately, I do not have these books in physical books. But most of my writing craft books are in ebook format, so I can show you guys a few. This is what it looks like. I definitely recommend it because it shows you an in-depth story structure for writing novels. Its framework is similar to the framework of Save the Cat screenwriting methodology. The next book I recommend is Save the Cat by Blake Snyder for screenwriting. This is how it looks like. So this is just like Save the Cat writing novel, but this is for screenwriting. I recommend this book even if it's for screenwriting because the same guide used in the book can also be used for writing. So it's actually very good. The next book I recommend is Five Secrets of Story Structure by Kay Miller. So this book is very good because it tells you how to use a three-act story structure to build a story with the greatest possible impact on your readers and it's actually free. So if you're thinking of one of the books to get, that book is good. The next book I recommend is The Indie Author Mindset by Adam Kraft. So this book will change your thinking about your writing career. The next book I recommend is Elements of Style by William Strong. So this book is actually very good. It was even recommended by Stephen King and I like the fact that it's very little but has so much to offer. It gives you all the nitty gritty details of Elements of Style. No BS. The next book on the list is The Emotional Tsaros and all the book in its series. So if you want to learn how to write emotions, this book is definitely for you and I recommend getting all the books in the series. I'm going to put the link in the description down below for you to get it. The next book is Writing Fiction for Dummies. I recommend this so much because it gives you all details from start to finish on how to write a book, how to self-publish and all of that good stuff. Now there are so many books I recommend but these are the only ones I could say in this video. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box for all the books you could get. The next thing I would like for you to buy for a writer are tools, writing tools. So there are so many things a writer requires, so many things. I'm going to start with very obvious one of the important ones, a writing desk. So when people think of gifts, they do not think of writing decks, but it's actually good. Some persons do not have a deck to write. They write on their beds or they write in their library, their school library. Like before, I didn't have a writing deck. I used to write on the bed and in just so many places, but now I have a deck. So a writing deck is actually very good for you to buy for a writer. The next writing tool I recommend to buy for a writer is a laptop stand. When writers are writing, they're always like, they're always crouching down. But when they have a laptop stand that elevates their laptop, it helps them so that they don't strain their back. So a laptop stand is so good. It's something you should get for Next thing I recommend is getting a writer gift basket. I don't know if there's a service that provides that, but you could just do one yourself. And there are so many things you could put in a writer's gift basket. I'm going to just read them out. I have a list of things I recommend putting put in the basket. There are so many. You don't have to put all of them. You can put some of them or you can just put all if you want. So the, the things I recommend putting in the gift basket for a writer is warm socks, warm fuzzy pants, fuzzy pants because writers need to be comfortable they stay at home kitchen timer because timing your writing is good writing planners oh my gosh these are important cute marks with writing quotes because we like cute things cute trophy loads with quotes writing rings writing jewelry writing t-shirts beautiful inscribed writing pens phone case or laptop case book scented candles cute writing customized shirts Oversized fuzzy hoodie, like this one I'm wearing, but this one is not oversized, this one is just fairly big. <laughs> but oversized one because sometimes it gets cold. Tote bags to carry your books around, obviously. Bookmarks, bookmark your book, obviously. 
golden star sticker. I like to think this should be for rewarding yourself. Gift cards, right on your life. If you know the kind of place the person likes to go to, you can buy a gift card for that place like Starbucks gift card or whatever service that requires a gift card. And they use scarves, writing gloves, fingerless gloves. These are people that stay in cold places and when they type so often, their fingers ache and they get cold fingers. So writing gloves are like good bookstore gift card you can get a gift card for their local bookshops you know writers like to get books <laughs> cute stickers pencil pen holders pencil sets bookish posters snacks because we like to <laughs> snack on things while we write stay and just stationary so those are so many things you can put in your gift basket you can put all of them you can put some of them i'm going to leave a link in the description box for all the things i just said and aside gift basket, what else could you get? Get a waterproof speaker or noise cancelling speakers. So writers, when writing, they like to listen to music. And myself, I like to listen to music. That's why I have headphones like this one and and this one. So these headphones are like so good. Cancel noise out. So when you're writing, you do not need to hear background noises. You want to just be focused in your head and writing. So getting a noise cancelling headphone is like and getting a waterproof headphone is also good because in case you want to write in somewhere there is water noise cancelling headphones are like lit the next thing is typewriter or a separate keyboard so if the writer in your life uses a desktop you can get them a separate keyboard or a customized one whatever you like or if they like the ideas of typewriter you can also get them that as a gift but those ones are not cheap they're a bit pricey next one is coffee packs because most writers like coffee i think when buying coffee packs you should know the kind of coffee or the coffee brand the writer in your life likes to buy from you, you may have to do a little bit of snooping around to know the kind of coffee pack that they use so you can buy a lot for them coffee maker because they like to make coffee obviously you have to buy a coffee maker i'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get all of these things so you don't have to worry all the ones i recommend and all the ones i think they're actually good plants now most writers like the idea of plants i personally have plants but i do not have the strength to actually take care of a real life plant so i have an artificial one i have so many but they are all artificial like this one if the writer in your life can handle taking care of plants buy them plants because it's actually good for them the next one is storage space because we like to write obviously and i know most writing softwares has cloud-based space but aside writing there's so many things that writers like doing Personally, I need to get a story speech for myself because I create a lot of content around writing, so I definitely need one. When you're buying storage, I recommend buying one that's at least one TB, one terabyte. The next thing I think you should get for a writer is an electric kettle for boiling water for tea. If the writer in life drinks tea, I think it's a good thing to get for them. Next one is a blender for smoothie lovers like myself. So I love drinking smoothies. I even have one here beside me. So I think you should actually get a blender for writers that like smoothies. The next one is book bag for their laptop. Personally, I'm not very mobile. I like to stay at my writing desk to write, but sometimes I go out. I'm not very comfortable writing everywhere I can, like every single place I go to. I write some places, I don't write at some places. But for, for a writer in your life that is mobile, that likes to move around, a laptop bag is actually very very good because when they want to move around and they want to write on the go this is something that can just help to pack their laptop in and and go next one is writing chair so i talked about the writing desk earlier i didn't talk about writing chair so i just remembered it now obviously you need to sit down to write so the writing chair is recommended you could also pay for a spa package just a little treat to treat them for the holidays writers are always sitting up you know working on computers so you could just take them for a spa party let them get a good massage the next one is paying for their book cover design book cover designs that can be pricey i'm telling you so just offering to pay for their book cover design is actually one of the greatest gifts you can actually do for them buying skincare packages buying skincare packages is actually a good idea for a writer so we are always stressing out about our books always stressing about one thing or the other and sometimes we forget to take care of our skin so buying a skincare package is nice it's part of self-care this one is a bit pricey but if this right now in your life is a significant order i would advise you get it for them so this is getting a ticket to a writer's conference so if you know a writer's conference they have always wanted to attend a writing workshop just get a ticket for them and surprise them that would make a very good christmas gift a macbook if you can afford it, I would advise you to get a MacBook. 
for them. Praying for that professional editing because editing is so expensive. You can actually offer to pay for that professional editing. A book cover for a MacBook. So this one is not so pricey. You can get a book cover for a MacBook. A coffee cup for with the heater. So I've heard about this one and I've actually seen it but I haven't gotten one for myself. So this is basically a coffee cup with the stand. The stand is able to heat the coffee. So so when you are writing and your coffee gets cold, when you reach to grab your coffee, it's already heated up and you can always have your coffee warm or hot as as you like. Now those are just some tools I recommend you buying for a writer as a gift. There are so many others I recommend and I'm going to leave them down in the description box if you want to check it out. The next thing I recommend you getting for a writer are writing softwares and subscriptions. So writing softwares and subscriptions, there are so many good ones. I'm going to share with you a few. The first one is Grammarly and Poetic Aid. So I did a full review of Grammarly. I'm going to leave the link here or here somewhere for you to check it out. Grammarly is a writing software that checks your grammar and makes your writing error free. Now, Pro Writing is the Grammar Checker, Style Editor, and Writing Mentor all in one package. Getting a Pro Writing Aid Pro or Premium version is actually good. The Premium version costs $24 for a month, it's $9 for a yearly subscription, and $499 for a lifetime subscription. The next software I recommend is Scrivener. So, Scrivener is beginner friendly, and that's why I think it's a good software to get for them. Scrivener is a word processing software and outliner designed for writing your book. It helps you stay organized and has easy access. The premium version costs $9 for the Mac version, $45 for Windows, and $19 for iOS version. The next software I recommend is writing to speaking software. So personally, I haven't actually used this, but I've gotten a lot of good feedback about it from amazing writers that I know. Writing to speaking softwares are actually amazing. The next software I recommend is Campfire Pro. Campfire Pro is a writing software designed mainly for novelists and screenwriters. It helps you complete your character design, plot, and world building all in one place. The Pro version costs $49.99 for a one-time purchase. Next subscription I recommend is Masterclass subscription. Masterclass offers online classes created by the best instructors in each field. So there are so many great creative writing masterclasses, but this is a bit pricey. I recommend Margaret Atwood's creative writing masterclass. So each subscription costs $180 and this gives you only unlimited unlimited access to all the classes until you cancel. You can also gift yourself a pass for a single class which costs $90. And right now, the masterclass is offering a holiday package which is two memberships for the price of one. Actually a good steal. So if you're getting masterclass, I recommend you get it now before the holidays is over. The next one I recommend is Scribify. So Scribify is actually a very good place to get critical feedback. You can get access to beta readers and get good feedback from amazing writers. You can also learn how to get published and in all it, ha it has a very warm and friendly community. The premium version costs $9 monthly, $65 annually. The next software I recommend is Skillshare. So Skillshare is just like masterclass. This is an online learning platform that you can learn anything taught by the world's best practitioners. Its premium version costs $19 monthly and $99 annually. The next software I recommend is Scribbler. Scribbler is a subscription box for novelists. It contains teaching tools from best-selling authors such as curated writing gifts, autographs, novels. You also get access to live chat from publishing pros and so many others. It costs $29.99 monthly $84.99 for 3 months $164.99 for 6 months $329.99 annually so yeah just some writing softwares and subscriptions I actually recommend you to get for a writer in your life but there are so many others and I'm going to put them down in the description down below just a quick wrap I talked about writing craft books I talked about writing tools and I talked about writing softwares and subscriptions so these are the three categories I actually recommend you getting for a writer and there are so many so many good stuffs I'm going to leave an in-depth guide in the subscription below and I'm also working on a PDF version which is free that you can get in case you want to have a handy list of things you could shop for the writer in your life that's all for the writing gifts to get for the writer in your life this Christmas and even after Christmas or just whenever you feel like it it doesn't have to be Christmas alone whenever you feel like getting a gift for a writer can always come back and check for gifts that you think will suit the writer in your life thanks for watching this far don't forget to like and share this video turn on post notifications so you do not miss an update leave your comments down below i'll see you in the next video bye